Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you the top 3 best ways to make money and I have tested these and I will be sharing which one is the best at the end of the video. Method number 1 is obviously hourglass. If you're good you can go on high streaks and this is really good. A 4 streak would probably give you about anywhere from 100 to 150 grand so if you're good at the game definitely try hourglass even if you're not good at the game you will eventually turn into pvp so definitely practice on hourglass if you're new because it's very useful and eventually sooner or later you will get attacked it can be a lot of fun as well especially at close quarters i love them they're really fun to me so you should definitely try it out don't quit either if you sink. It happens to everyone. I mean, it just it just happens to everyone. There's no player ever that has never sank in Sea of Thieves. So don't get discouraged if you do sink. I sink a lot as well. If you try it out and you end up find it in, finding it enjoyable, then what's the harm? You find it enjoyable and you make loads of money from it. Honestly, best way to make money, really, I think, is one of the best ways is Hourglass. Yeah, definitely. If you're more of a quest to do it, it can be better to do Hourglass as well because it, it gives you a break from all the tall tale type story and rules that you have to follow in Hourglass so you can just fight your own style. Like I said, I sink a lot as well, you can see here on the screen, so never be discouraged if you do sink. Method number two is ashen vaults if you're ever in the devil's raw it's really good it's a really good place to make money so if you're ever there make sure to pick up a couple of vaults or something like that uh or skeleton quests because anything ashen is better than normal loot so if you grind pirate legend definitely go there These vaults are great to do with a group because you get more loot, but as a solo they are pretty hard. You, they can be really frustrating as well, but if you love playing solo, I think this would be a very enjoyable task for you. So if you usually play solo like I do, then definitely try out some of these. Although the Devil's Roar might not seem that good with all the volcanoes erupting and your ship could sink if you leave it unattended, but honestly it's quite a lot of fun because it's not your usual tasks. 
like you would do in a normal world, The Devil's War is a whole different experience. I do usually get frustrated when, volca when a volcano rock hits me, well that's just everyone really isn't it, but it's part of the devil's roar, you get frustrated but there is a big reward at the end if you're doing tasks like this with the ashen loot being worth a lot. At the end of this vault I didn't get much loot but I still made a pretty good profit of 10k. I was playing an hour so it's not the best quest for time but if you were the crew it would take a lot less time and you could uh, get a lot more money. So I definitely recommend doing this. So this is me going to my next uh, vault the next day. I did not get anything the first vault that I did, but the second time I tried was actually really good. It did pay off quite well. So I definitely recommend going here if you do want to do these Devil's Raw tasks, if you need money, because they're really good to do to make money and they're just amazing and fun. Method number three is actually uh, world events. World events world events are amazing to make money. They are a really great way. It's probably one of the best ways to make money in the Sea of Thieves. Apart from one of the Athena quests, I'm pretty sure it's Legend of the Veil that gives you a hundred K per thing from my experience. Hundred K per quest, so definitely do that one if you are pirate legend but if you're not do world events some world events are great i mean all of them are because they some give you experience with naval others experience with close squad combats and others even with other players like fleets you can practice naval skeleton ships i mean that's what fleets are uh Tornadoes, the uh, Ashen Winds Tornado event is a great way to practice close quarter combat. And Forts of Fortune, the big red skulls in the sky can give you experience with actual other players fighting for really good loot. So if you ever see a big raging skull in the sky, definitely try it. It's def it is worth it. It's got uh, the rarest chest in the game in the vault. And it's a quite rare world event to appear. So if you ever find a Fort Fortune in your server, be prepared for a fight and definitely go check it out. It's a great reward. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe, leave a comment and check out some of my other videos. I appreciate everyone that watches my videos. So if you're new, it would mean the world to me if you subscribed.